Welcome to BNG, a show that gives you a front row seat as we see the South African people receive adequate housing and quality homes. Today, we visit the Lukanji district in the Krisani municipality here in the Eastern Cape as the Department of Military Veterans holds hands together with the Department of Human Settlements to provide homes for these veterans. <music> Malam Isaac Han, Nakurela Pay M. Kunguza, Kamalum, Utawapo, and Sam Nan, Sang and Dimborn, the Suga Queen Dalsabens a Houting, the Suga Houting, the Eka Ekapa, the Fuganda Sabens a Hotel, the Tinted Sun and No Chef, Loy Peg, Tang Genau Polo Digimo, yeah, who trade in Yon, Suga Trade in Yon and Genau ANC. The Puma and the younger parliament, the Sire of 63, we are, we, are, we are trained military. My name from my home, I'm Erina Mwetwa. In 1977, I became Erina Han. I was married to my husband. He took me to Lusaka where he was staying. So since 1977, we were staying in, in Lusaka. With him, I become the winter best sell goods on a pan, the best sell the cargo test campaign. Then go continue military, Sasuke, Zambia, Say Tanzania, Sasale Tanzania campaign, Sasuke Tanzania, Saya Egypt, Sasuke Egypt, Saya Russia. The life since we were here, the life was just good, but I don't know what it came to do to change to my sister-in-law saying that, no, this is not your home. Um, you have got to move out and uh, you have got to stop plowing in the field. So I myself, I could go deep to find what the reason, because I'm just married. I'm not born in condition, 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 I'm not born in condition. Better than apply link to the Sugap, Benenda, where I'm your son and Abantuanabam, Fuga Nabantuanabas Zambia. Long said the future. I know that even my children, if they come, even though I die, my children will be safe. We Zambian, even though you are working, we are, we are close too much to plowing, to have a place of uh, planting your seeds, maize, butternuts, and so forth. So if you, get, you give me something, a, a place to plow, I, I'll be all right. Mr. Makasit Ngeba is an umkonto is a military veteran who's also in need of a house. Here's his story. My name is Neva Mokas, a family name. And my combat name is Zebulon Makaitinda Bakulu. I grew up in the farms in Hofmeyer district. Their life was very much miserable. Ukebogwa Mufun, Abem Chochan, Esada. I must go and look for work in Gauteng, you see. I went to the East Rand, where I joined Irapo, Eastern People's Organization. It was only then where I got the connection in the underground. So I took the decision voluntarily to be going and joining Umkonto Oasis in exile. In 1985, I went to Lesotho. Lesotho were transported to Tanzania where you chose school or MK. I chose MK. I did my further training in Yugoslavia, the basic uh, general, uh, general military course. From Yugoslavia, I was deployed in 
Angola, Kakulama, from Kakulama to Pareta and Pareta to Kwading, I mean to Kibashi, where I got my injuries. We're from Pareta base. Now we're going fetching the food in Kibashi. So on our way from Pareta to Kibashi, then we were confronted by the racist Sadaf and UNITA forces. And that is where I got my, my injuries. injuries. These are the splinters of a bazooka. Some people say I'm still happy to be alive today. This was the AK. Also, this was an AK wound here on a, on a prone position. It's a very sad story, Commander, because some people ask you, we wanted to educate you and went to exile and join the... What is the ANC doing for you? And then now you, you, you will explain to them, even though they are asking some, some genuine questions. Like, before my mom was still alive, I was living on, he, on her donut, old age, old, old, old age pension. And even I was having, I was supposed to be married long time ago, but in our culture, you must pay Lobola. You can't pay Lobola gain, gain well. So happy we are that the ANC took a decision that the, the ex-MK combatants must no longer live on dustbins. I've been living here since 1997. The conditions living in a shack is, is very much unbearable. When rain comes, rain pours in, sometimes you go sleeping with no food. I got my German wife, two children. This is a letter from my wife, Karin, in Germany. Alles Gute und viel Glück. Every good, everything good for you and more luck. Und sehr viel Spaß mit eurem Sohn. And that I have this small boy of mine, which was born in 2002. Schreib mal wieder. Please write me again. Other sons of mine, the one is in Joburg, who's on in Sada and others in Cape Town, they will also be happy that at least our father, who we did not see, who joined the struggle, for forgetting us as his children, he chose the revolution as Umanob. So now that my father is having a house, they will be happy at least to have sharing of the oxygen with their father so we can make some coffee and don don and don don together. When we return, we speak to another military veteran about the work that's being done to provide houses for them. Norma Irene Ngateba now survives by being a part-time cleaner, which is a far cry from her days of being an MK soldier. We join on the morning that's about to change her life. Norma Irene Ngateso. Ikamala me bizo ngalungu mandumbi apa e koma. Tikule apa tishala. Nabaza libama abaswele kayo. Bandi shi andi semnini. Andi mazu tatam, andi mazu mamam. Ti kule ndi ngabaza. Ta kuliswa. Kukusista wam o 1955. Ula la eko. Ula pasange spinde si vaneko. Wataka nfuni ndani lisen. Ti simi jima lapendi noko. Uchandi ambi ndote. Lampy. <laughs> Semka a piece of the Africa. So we le langa panga se gusuto. Sa la la po sa sinda kebe choka ngin singa banjwanga. Sa te sa ufika kuma Uganda no ma Tanzania. Isu zatu so pa sa so chwena nandi o yo lo linkulu leko yom zanze Africa. Chenga bandwa na be kosas. 
Beskolo. Siyasa vya kakulu kana kutuwa umandela ukulu lekele. Kwa vya kufika payana o oh, kumandu mutise no kumandu zuma. Sisiya kamandi kengu kusiye kilucha i sasiti two fighting factors imbuchi ne pins. Sasiya na makapi chunga la mene ne ne ha kukumandi. Sisi kala ngose za pine sibu yesizi makai. Tifikile apa ekai na fika ndinke nenke nendinke ko. Kaku shiktaba ndichiwe yi sendwe miye lakani. Da amba nda si wazi femezi koto yikha kwa funyansu ba andina mpili mpili ya menke nenke ni. Baba ni bendi tata bendi kwenye zingli nzaamu. Da boni ndo bake ngoku aibo nogo ndia kula akundu funo nisa skulu ini. Mandi ya mbe ndiyo zi kangedi linda undi ya mbe kangedi zi koropo. Di ya mbe kengu kundi zi koropo ila ndi zenzi yi vasa za mbe kwimizi ngi mizi. Di klina glo mizi nse za ne aini. Kule na inzu di kolwe ngu mama enda ndi mshamba e kula. Ega wakustuwa ngu sisi pumla maseti. Wa yale za bandwa na bake ngu mshawa yi za uswele kangeba. Bang and the last bandit in it in the full man in the wheel. The petrol is full by asthma. The candy valley and shell again put the dinner was a pull up. Kakumbi Tana Kukuko Umoya, a Kukuku bandsman and Tana, a weather impy. The busy Winyana Walaba. Kawan dah fuman senda fuman senda bayi boy impi dia mai pelan aku lihat asm mana di cara makan senda fanya sebab di neng mula si HIV di fanya aku cuma di zaman lagi man di lari di depan rosak panas pasti di di benen do light panas di benen dah we ikut selekle seling selekle kau nggak jadi no more. We speak to the director of Seven Says, who's the main contractor, about his experiences on site while building the Lukanji project. What are some of the specs of these houses? What we've built here for the um, veterans was something a little bit different to the normal RDP house. The RDP house is 40 square meters. What we've de uh, de designed here is a 50 square meter house, mm. which has um, Maranti uh, wooden windows, it's got vinyl flooring, it's got four um, um, plugs, and even made provisions for a stove, as well as um, light fittings for all of them, and also a 100 litre um, geyser for, for hot water in the uh, cold months. I know there are challenges in big projects like this, there should have been some. Yeah, you know, one of the main challenges that we have is the veterans' administration. Mm. If they can maybe jack up to work a little bit easier and faster mm. and fast track the whole system, then we can actually build more houses. But there is a, is a, a little bit of a problem on that side, and, and I think it's being sorted out as time goes on. Mm. The other problem that we have is the um, terrain. It's, it's very, very difficult mm -hmm. because it's a rocky terrain. So, yeah, it, it is a bit of a challenge when it comes to the foundations. Mm -hmm. The locals, did they get employment during this? Uh, you know, that is one of our specialities. Whenever we go, we try to, to um, uh, um, employ 90% of the current people residing in the area where we are developing. Uh, what we do is we bring in, in uh, specialist tr uh, artisans and then we train the local guys uh, in the process while we're doing the construction. So, thank you very much. Thank for you. Time. Our military veterans are finally going to get homes that they've been patiently waiting for. The handover ceremony is about to begin. We speak to some of the dignitaries and the stakeholders who are here about the work that has been done here. Deputy Minister, welcome to BNG again. Thank you. Can you tell us about today's event? What do you think? Very, very excited. Mm -hmm. You can see how military veterans are so excited about it. It's an event where we recognize the people who have played the supreme prize mm. 
in our struggle. We know that there's a backlog and we know the target is 5,000 houses. Are these houses part of the 5,000? These houses are part of the 5,000 units that our target is meant to eradicate before the next administration comes to an end. So this 200, which is being part of the Lukanji development, is part of that. We are also saying that the houses in the Eastern Cape of military veterans are not only built here in Lukanji only. We have houses in Artambo that we are building. We have houses at Nelson Mandela Metro that we are building. So it's exciting. This province is moving in terms of, of, of doing its bit around the issue of military veterans. Mama. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, what a nice color combination. Yeah. <laughs> we will also join you there. In all Speaking to the Deputy Minister of Defence and Military Veterans, Mr. Kebi Mamato. Say, how are you? What do you think about today's event? I'm feeling very happy that uh, what the Human Department of Human Settlements, together with the Department of Military Veterans, the province and the local municipalities have so far done in allocating houses for former for military veterans. Selection criteria. Which one has been used to select who gets what? The Department of Military Veterans has got a database. So they verify military veterans whether, according to the act, this is a military veteran. And once you are, you are verified and qualified, they put you in the data. And that's the criteria that they are using. And the challenges that you guys are seeing so far, what are they? But the challenges that we are having is that most of the military veterans do not come out and update their status. Oh. So you find that when we allocate houses, others they come late. So we are time and again doing roadshows, encouraging our military veterans and their dependents to update their status in the, in the Department of Military Veterans database. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, uh, the 200 houses that have been built, I know they want to ease up the backlog. How well can those do? Well, obviously, it uh, eats into the backlog of the, firstly, of the military veterans, mm. which uh, we've come to understand there's a huge backlog for them. Uh, they've only recently come to ensure that uh, they consolidate their numbers. Uh, overall, in the province, this um, is part of our target for this financial year, obviously. So it's also assisting us to reach those targets for, the, for this financial year. These veterans have skills, and how, how would you think the Eastern Cape can benefit from their skills? Well, obviously, where there is skills, what we are encouraging within any of the project, where they have skills, that uh, in an area where there's a project that they would want to start, uh, to start, it does not all rest within the human settlement environment. Mm. There is social development that is on board that if they do would want uh, to start a project, they are there. We have the Department of Rural Development and Agrarian Reform who is ready to assist them if they want to go into the agricultural field. Even those who have skills in the building of houses, where they are qualified and they have the necessary accreditation to build houses, we would allow them, obviously. So we are saying that uh, there is space within the current system, but we must also understand that some of our military veterans are very old. Some of them 
uh, have gone through a very emotional bruising phase. True. And some of them really still requires that counseling to ensure that we make them whole in the process, that we walk with them, that we take them on board uh, so that they can feel that they are part of this new South Africa. Yeah. And my last question, is the MEC happy with the progress here? We are extremely happy. We are so grateful to God that he has blessed us today and that we can come and not only celebrate with military veterans and their family, but with Chris Hani and the community of the Eastern Cape. Yeah. Let me see. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Thank you. Thank you. to BNG. Can you just tell us about the role of the municipality in this housing project? The role of the municipality in this pro project was to facilitate the beneficiary as, the, as it is the role of the municipality. But because the project is being done by the province, we are the ones who are assisting the, the province. Our regional office, which, amongst, which is amongst us, so we're assisting them in whatever they are doing. What were some of the challenges? Uh, the challenge was that uh, when the project started, there was no bulk infrastructure here. Mm. As a result, it has been done and finished, but the problem was that there was no electricity. Temporarily, we connected electricity so that the people who will be coming in the houses that are handing, uh, that are being handed over uh, the houses today, must get must get in the houses that have lights and water. Yeah. Future developments. How would you like to see this place look in the future? Uh, as Lukanji municipality, we know that this is a military veterans' houses. But as the municipality, our our our, our thinking is that we wo we don't want to leave them alone here. We want to mix the military veterans with other people so that it can't be just the military veterans. So we are expecting to extend the project further by mixing with other people. Mama, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. The military veterans finally have new homes. They have served their country and their people. Now they can sit back and enjoy the fruits of the freedom that they fought for and raise their families in comfortable and secure homes. I'm Juchi Seba for BNG. I'll see you next week, same time, same place.